Love here and this week I wanted to try these salt dough tags um, that I was inspired by on Pinterest. So after reading a couple different recipes this was the recipe I settled on and I will put a link below to where you can find this recipe if you want to try it too. And um, so this is what I learned <laughs> while doing these. There, uh, I dried mine in the oven because I have no patience and so they're a little wonky. You see that? Apparently if you let them air dry, which takes a couple days, they will dry flatter. I don't have time for that, so I dried mine in the oven. So it didn't create a stampable surface because the original plan I thought after it dried I would stamp on them, but no, that's not going to work. <laughs> but I found a solution to the problem and I think that they turned out so cute. So look at that tag. And that is a Lavinia stamp called Vine, which I will link to below. Isn't it gorgeous? It turned out super cute. And then here's one I made using the uh, mini crown. It's just adorable. So I will show you um, how I created them. And I just wanted to say these salt dough ornaments, they're pretty sturdy. I had never actually made them before. And um, they're kind of cool. I mean, I wish they weren't wonky though, but I think this, you can't even tell that it's wonky at all. It's just pretty, it's just pretty. So let's get started. So I decided to use tissue paper. So I cut little pieces of tissue paper a little larger than the tag itself. And now I am using an archival ink. You want to use a permanent ink because we're going to decoupage these on. And if you do not use a permanent ink, your images will run. And for this one, I am using the mini pine cone Lavinia stamp. It's so cute. So you want to be careful, of course, when you are stamping on tissue paper, because when you go to lift up your stamp, you can tear the tissue paper if you're not gentle. So I hold the tissue paper down with um, one hand and then just kind of peel the stamp up with the other hand and it's a beautiful image. So I use the mini pine cones, the vine stamp, the mini crown, and the fir tree. And you will find the link to all of those below. And now I am just going to uh, use a decoupage glue. Any decoupage glue will work. And I am going to put a thin layer on top of my tag. Now you, you want to make sure you put a thin layer because if, if it's too wet, you won't be able to rub the wrinkles out and your tissue paper could tear. But if you just put like a thin layer, look, I can just rub that right out. And so there's no tears and there's no wrinkles. And then I'm just going to add a thin coat to the top. Easy peasy and so super cute. I just love how these turned out. Now the uh, tags themselves do have a little bit of a rough edge. So I did take a nail file and sand those down, but I forgot to film that part. Of course. So, you know, you don't have to do that, but I just thought it, it looked a little bit nicer. Filed down. And these really don't take uh, very long to dry at all. And don't you just love this vine stamp? I think it's so pretty. So pretty. Now in the next clip, we're gonna get rid of the excess uh, tissue paper. But you kinda wanna do it while your tag is still wet. So before your tags dry completely, you're going to uh, tear away the excess tissue paper with your fingers. I find that just works best. It gives the best look too because you can't see, you know, you can't see where the tissue paper ends and the tag begins. So here while it's still wet, I'm just kind of pulling it away. And even if you pull a little too much away, you won't be able to see it. I'm just gonna go over the edges with um, a little more decoupage on my brush, not much though. And it just holds everything down and you just literally cannot see the difference. 
So when they're all finished, it looks like you've stamped right onto the um, tag, which I think is fabulous. Love how these turned out. I mean, your fingers get a little messy, but it's well worth it. You know, I have to add a bit of sparkle to mine. So I used um, the Twinklets Diamond Dust. It's fabulous. And you can get it at Lavinia World. And I will, of course, have the link below. But it was a great way to add sparkle to these. And I just think they turned out so cute. I can't wait to stick them on some gifts this year. So cute. So I had to use my pokey tool and kind of re-poke the holes because I decoupage the tissue right over, but no big deal. And see, it look, they look like you stamped right on them. Now I'm going to take some more of that decoupage glue and I'm just going to go around the edges of my tag. And then I'm just going to sprinkle the diamond dust right on it. And it's fabulous. I love it. And then I'm just going to use some twine to stick through the holes and then they are ready to put on some gift tags or you could make ornaments out of these. I don't know. I just think they're super cute. They were fun to do. They were so easy. So please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment and let me know what you think. I hope you all give them a try. Thanks for watching everyone and I will see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.